Hello, I'm Liz Zorab and this is By the Farm and today I'm looking again at some perennial veg. So I want to start off with uh, this little plant here, uh, which hopefully uh, over time will get much bigger. Uh, this is a Taunton Dean Kale. I know it's really popular and lots of people have got it. If you don't have it yet, it's certainly one uh, worth investigating. Uh, it's got a really nice taste to it. It's cabbagey without being overly strong and there's a slight sweetness to it. It's a really good one. Uh, so this can be grown really easily uh, from cuttings. The cuttings root super easily. So if you know anybody who's got any, just ask them for a cutting. You can use rooting powder, but you don't really need it. I'm getting tickled <laughs> by the asparagus. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a really good one to have. Um, and it's in this bed uh, with, well, with some asparagus uh, and also uh, some Egyptian walking onions. These are funny little fellas. Um, so you use, uh, you lose, use the leaves. Again, it's, um, taste-wise, they remind me of chives, but it is, it's got a bit more heat behind it. It's a bit stronger, like an onion is. Um, and they're called walking onions because they produce uh, bulbils on the top of them. And they send up a, a shoot, which will then bend over uh, and lie down onto the ground um, and you'll get new onions there so they spread uh, they spread really easily oh I've been joined by Monty hello boy what do you think of these onions Are they splendid you've got bits of fluff on you do you like them poo it's too oniony for a cat isn't it yes now I'm super excited because I've just taken delivery uh, of some more perennial veg, uh, some of which I haven't heard of before. But let's start with this one. Uh, this is, <laughs> this little fella uh, is a perennial broccoli. Uh, so it's a, another short-lived perennial, but perennial all the same. And it will send out a broccoli uh, florette uh, and you take that out and then it will send uh, more around the side. Uh, very much like uh, purple sprouting broccoli, um, but you just need to uh, keep on keep on harvesting it uh, and it will keep going. So um, we'll follow that uh, as the year goes on and see how that gets on. And this one uh, is a walking stick cabbage, uh, cow cabbage. It's got lots of different names. Uh, this grows at an incredible rate uh, of 10 feet or more a year. Produces just a few leaves on the top uh, and you can uh, harvest the leaves as they go. <laughs> uh, it originates uh, from the Channel Islands here in the UK. I'm really excited to grow this. <laughs> they look great. Uh, see what it tastes like. Mind you, after eating that, uh, I'm dripped from walking onion, I can't taste very much. It's got a really, really strong cabbagey taste. You know, this would be really nice um, chopped into something like mashed potato or mashed swede. Yeah, that's nice. And then here, uh, this little clump, it's wild garlic. And I can't wait to grow some of this. Uh, I am also growing some from seed, but I'm going to plant this. Uh, in the duck enclosure underneath the fruit trees and just let it romp away there um, how lovely it smells great uh, and the leaves of wild of wild garlic are really good to make a pesto from so there we go there's another one wild garlic and the last one that i'm going to tell you about today uh, is skirret it's got really pretty leaves uh, I'm really pleased with this. I've wanted to screw it for a couple of years now. I haven't been able to get hold of any. So here we go. Um, this came to me as uh, as one block. I've divided it because there are in fact two plants here. Um, and skirret uh, forms uh, white roots, creamy white roots. And it's the root that you eat. 
I'm really looking forward to trying this now. I'm probably not going to be harvesting this year. Uh, I think it's going to be two or three years before I start harvesting the skirt. But the sooner I get it into the ground, the sooner I can start trying it. I'm out here in the annual vegetable garden um, and I'm hoping over time that uh, there will be fewer and fewer annual vegetables in here and more and more perennials. Uh, so to that end I've been looking and learning and doing some research and because there just is no point in growing food that we're not going to like the flavour of so I've been sourcing a, a small number of uh, perennial plants to give them a try see what we think of them and then we'll know which ones we want to grow in here on a permanent basis. If you'd like to see some of the other perennial vegetables that we're trying check out this video here and if you haven't done so already don't forget to subscribe to the channel.